even know what Jesus says. You don't speak Aramaic. You don't know what Jesus says. You're quoting the translation of what supposedly Jesus said. Guys, I'm sorry. Jesus is not going to save you, my dear. It's not going to happen. The only person that can save you is you. Because you've got yourself into this mess that you're in in the first place. And therefore, the only person that can save you is you from yourself. And the only way you can save yourself from yourself is to get help from other people who also want to save themselves from themselves. You can't just say, well, I might believe oh, sometime yeah. in the near future. You might not get that chance, folks. You might die in trust Yes, you're going to die. Everybody is going to die. That's nothing to worry about because that will be the end of all of your problems. That's right. And then there'll be no more iPhones, no more M&M's world, well, no more dentists. You won't need anything. You won't need something to do on a Friday afternoon, only ending up looking at two nutters speaking against each other when they're not even listening to each other. What's the matter with you? No, Jesus does not want to save you today. You cannot be saved. You're all going to die without Jesus or with Jesus. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference what you think. You're all going to die, and faggots are going to get you. That's right, you are not going to live forever, my friend. And looking at you, it might not be long before you're on your way. Why are you not taking care of yourself? You need to take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Forget Jesus. He's not going to help you. You need to do more exercise, eat better food, eat less food. Don't do so much stressful things. Do some yoga and meditation. Do some nice things for other people and then you're going to die. That will be the end of it. It's finito. You're not going to live forever. Nobody is. Sorry, madam. It's not going to happen. Why do you want to live forever anyway? Does anybody here want to live forever? <laughs> Why? Why? Why do you want to live forever? What's your boss? What are you even doing here now? Enjoying your life. Well, I'm very pleased that you're enjoying your life. That's really, that's not really doing much, is it? Just enjoying your life. Is that it? What are you supposed to do? I don't know. Ask yourself that question. I go into deep meditation and ask yourself. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. He won't answer the question though. What was God's name before you met European people? He wants to know. I don't really care. Who cares about what God's name was? The Creator, there is no evidence that the Creator is benevolent. The Creator cannot be benevolent if the Creator created Boris Johnson. How can a Creator be benevolent? How can a Creator be benevolent that created cancer and children? It's not very nice, is it? How can a Creator be benevolent that created people who really don't think about things and spend their days buying shoes in a shoe shop when they've got loads of shoes already, haven't you, madam? Jesus Christ has come to set you free. Jesus Christ has not come to set you free. You are never going to be set free until you die, and then You'll be completely free, because all of it will be over, and that will be the end of things. I have no idea what you're saying. I can't even do a one-on-one. That's how bad it is. And don't get me wrong, I'm fucking from pride, because I wasn't a follower of God in 2012. You're still not a follower of God. He's not a follower of God, you're a follower of some idea in your mind. You're a follower, no he's not. No he's not. I mean seriously, that's not. Please stop bad-mouthing my children. Please stop. Please, I'm going to get you. I'll get you in court. But the gift of God is eternal life. No, it's not. Eternal life is a total disaster. Why would you want to live eternally? It's ridiculous. You'd see everybody dying. What do you want to live eternally for? It's difficult enough just living here for a few years, having to listen with people. You'll end up, if you listen to this nonsense, and he's right, this is unlikely, you'll end up for eternity with people like him. No, Jesus cannot save you. Maybe a therapist and some good friends might be able to help get you through this existence. 
No, and you're not going to get it from some random bloke who's clearly not in such great shape and using, and using Jesus, you're using Jesus as an excuse to avoid doing the work on yourself. That clearly needs to be done. You've never gone to a therapist. Ladies and gentlemen, if you start getting the idea that you know how life works and you start preaching on the street thinking you know the truth, please seek help from a psychotherapist. Or do you believe that you're just a monkey or you come out of slime? Well, what is it? Because I know that many people, they don't know the truth. And they don't even And neither do you know the truth, do you? I mean, what is the chance, statistically speaking, that that bloke knows the truth? There have been philosophers questioning the nature of the word truth for thousands of years. And this guy thinks he knows the truth. No, the Bible does not say that. The Bible is not written in English. It's written in Aramaic. No, that's not English. John was not written in English. What language is the Bible written in? And the word was with God. What? And the word was God. What language? It was in the beginning with what God. What language was the Bible written in? And Jesus was God. He was in the beginning with God. What are you talking about? And all things that have been made have you been have made by You have not thought this through properly, have you? Him, nothing would have been made. You really have not thought this through properly, have you? You're going to find out for yourself, buddy. One day you're going to find yeah, out for yourself. So. Of course you're going to find out. Right. If I found out, then you're going to have to find out. Right. Whether you're dead or whether you're alive. But you've admitted previously that you used to take Everybody a lot of drugs, didn't you? Jesus. You've admitted That's that you used case. to take a lot of drugs, right? The Bible says, How do you and know every you knee shall bow, too many? and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, glory to the Father. Everyone gets to see Jesus anyway. Nobody gets so, to see Jesus. He died thousands of years ago now. and he's not going to help you with your underlying problem. I like peace. I like to have rest. And Jesus promises you in the afterlife that you Yeah, in the afterlife. I can also promise you things in the afterlife. Anybody can promise things in the afterlife. I give you peace. I give you peace. Not that the world gives. But the I give. No, Jesus does not give you peace. The only Jesus way to get peace says, is to work on yourself. To work on yourself, me. ladies and gentlemen. Jesus you are at the root of all your problems, right. madam. Jesus all of your problems says, have one common the world, denominator. You, the, the way world, you think. The world and that's what needs heart, your attention. Not Jesus, not Muhammad, not Allah, or anybody else for that matter. But Jesus says love one another. Let's just go fight, 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 fight. Yeah. The atheist is going to beat up the Jesus lover, yeah? Oh, amplify. <laughs>